Yeah. I think that's probably. I'm just going to go with that. Yeah. Cool. It's just going to do the trick. That's great. Thanks. I am going to sit away from the table so that drop on it or knock it off. No. Not too much. <laughs> probably. <sighs> Your experience of Newbridge being like so far? Yeah, good. It's weird like, being here. I was at the um, like the last time I was here, I was doing the Valentine's Day thing, um, which feels so different, obviously, like with all the moving of things around and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's interesting. But then like, uh, the last time I was with Newbridge was in Jane's Hill. Um, so did Marty ever go to Newbridge? Uh, no. So um, she died. Um, So, I had been looking, because uh, I was involved in community arts in Scotland decades ago, and I'd spent a few years looking for, you know, for a home, a place to be. And um, I had heard of new projects. So, so, at that point, you know, because I'd never ever successfully been funded for anything given, you know, I do stuff, but never ever been funded or supported mm -hmm. or whatever. And um, so I applied to New, you know, and I'd spent several years working up, should I approach New Bridge Project as a member? Because also five pounds a month was a, to me, because you know, I was at food bank level, <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's almost unaffordable, and can mm -hmm. I justify it and all that? And, you know, Gates says too far, but I thought there was a working lift in town. So I did join, and then Marty died and I had a, uh, oh, so um, I, uh, Marty died, I met Dan, who sort of, you know, gave me, well, they gave me, like, you know, free place for a year, you know, the five pound deal, not one, yeah. and then Marty died, then I had my next heart attack, <laughs> and then, so, it was like, that, and then I got an email from Rebecca saying, hi, how's your free membership going, hope you're enjoying it, and I was in tears, and I was just like, I, is it just, oh, fuck off, and, and, uh, and then I was just like, should I, and I was like, well, should I even, get a taxi to Gateshead and just sort of cry <laughs> mm -hmm. and I did and uh, we talked a lot mm -hmm. and went through it and then yeah <laughs> so Mark he was not yeah <laughs> and then I discovered that I am good enough <laughs> apparently <laughs> I know <laughs> <laughs> Some people think <laughs> Don't know. Are these going to be part of the cabana? No. Well, they, they were just uh, bits that snapped off. They, okay. just, uh, they could be part of something else. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what's that? It was dandelion. Oh my god, okay. Because, yeah. Dandelion. <laughs> It's quite cool, that, Yeah, actually. it feels quite intestinal. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get up to when you're not new bridging or what's your... Um, uh, is it... <laughs> just trying to survive? Just trying to I think it is a lot of just trying to survive. Yeah. Um, but also, no, I think I'm also quite lucky. I have, like, lots of nice things that I do. I'm quite interested in travelling. Not in the sense of, like, going to other countries, but, like, in moving. And like I'm lucky enough to have like pretty good mobility despite being visually impaired. But I really enjoy walking, I really enjoy bus travel and I do a lot of kind of moving around like local spaces in various different ways. And like that's one of my favourite things to do. Um and then also like that's part of the project that me and Archie do, which is the walking and rolling yeah. project, which is like exploring the places where we live and the people who live in them and maybe the things that block people being able to meet each other or have kind of encounters that are unaccounted for. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else do I like to do? I guess I do like being an artist in some way, but also sometimes not quite sure how or in what way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, quite like my friends. <laughs> yeah, I think it is my. I think it's my actual. Can we quite? Yeah. Quite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, maybe I'll retract that. I really like my friends. I think maybe that's like, I think one of the biggest defining points for like how I see the world is like with those friends, which yeah. is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. I think they're really important. I don't really like being alone. And not like in that kind of like yeah. needy way, but I like, I enjoy the company yeah, of others. Sure. I really like the theory that you're the sum of the five people you spend most time yeah. with. Just yeah. Because it gives you the responsibility to be one of the good five people, but also to surround yourself with five good people. And that's cool. I think so. I think that's a really, I'm going to think about that a lot more actually. Yeah. I'd like holding myself accountable for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. I hate holding myself accountable, but it's nice to remember to. Mm. the most recent place that you've walked around? We did Biker yesterday. Okay. Um, and again, sometimes I think it could err on the side of like voyeuristic. Um, I don't think it is though. I think it's about trying to like maybe articulate or document the experience of being in space together. Yeah. Um, and that not being about like chin strokey kind of I don't know, social voyeurism or whatever. I think it is just about like what it feels like to be in a place and maybe be in a place without it being like a destination yeah. mm-hmm. or like, you know, you've traveled there specifically to arrive there. Um, it's just about, I don't know, like maybe the nice funny things that might happen. So like yesterday we went on a zip line nice. and we got to Biker and then we found some roller skates and I don't know, just like I was with a bunch of strangers who I'd never really met before. So it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, again, I think yesterday was a bit of a, a bit of a slower one, I suppose. Mm. That was good. It was good. Yeah. How about you? What do you like to do? Work. <laughs> um, work apparently. <laughs> my life. Uh, yeah. I like. I also have the thing of like. I think I like being an artist. It's funny, isn't it? We all talk about like. I think it's a strange thing to do for work because everyone does it because they like it and mm-hmm. then we sit two years later questioning whether we do like it at all, mm-hmm. like we do when we work in a shop. I don't think I actually like this very much. No. But you don't let yourself leave like you would walk out of a shop. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like being nice. I like painting, which I've started doing more recently. Not for work. I did one for work and I've decided that was enough. Mm. Um, yeah, just like being with my mates. I, mean, I like being on my own quite a lot, so um, I'm trying to embrace not being on my own all of the time. Okay. But uh, I like to be on my own and to walk. It's yeah. Exploring, exhausting myself to get to the top of the hill and then not managing to get back down again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like planning things that I'm going to really enjoy doing and then forgetting to do them. It's <laughs> my favourite activity. Oh, right, okay. I don't think I could let myself forget. I think oh. so much would ride on it. I don't have a brain that does <laughs> it right. <Okay. laughs> it's just work. Yeah. Um, I've planned a lot of really, really cool things that I'm going to do, aren't I, everyone? Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If um, Marty was posed that question, what do you like to do? What do you think Marty might answer? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it's, um, that's the kind of, you know, it's kind of a pretty quiet one. It's not to, you know, sort of sit there quietly and talk and watch. And, Listen on things. Yeah. So, talking, thinking, watching, observing, listening. Yeah. yeah. Problem solving. <laughs> Being unusual. <laughs> or thinking, thinking, thinking unusually. <laughs> Problem solving in different ways. I think my assumption was like always that maybe she was quite disruptive, but like, uh, but like kind of like actively 
yeah, but like you invisibly and you could and you'd be like, oh, there's there's disruption, but obviously like disruption doesn't always happen like that. Disruption is like maybe like cunning and well, quiet. This you see, right? So this is it. So I was in so my official job title in Edinburgh mm -hmm. with all this stuff yeah. uh, was disruptor in residence. Nice. Uh -huh. So the point of disruption. Now, again, you see, this is this thing. So I was officially the disruptor mm -hmm. in residence, and it was supported by Futures Venture, the people that uh, came out of welfare state. And so then it's really interesting because then, well, again, like that whole colonization thing. So the word disruption or to disrupt or disruption, it has be also become an art term and a, a colonizing mm -hmm. or, you know, you know so yes, we just. So then it's like, ah, oh, disruption is throwing it up in the air, tearing it up, mm. tipping over, knocking it down, smashing it, whatever. And it's like, no. Now, Michael Gove, so weirdly you get the arts people who've gone to university and, you know, who are like, oh yeah, disrupting is a brand, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's the marketing strategy for, mm -hmm. you know, as in, yes, you just smashed it. Now, disruption is simply doing it, it's, well, it's disruptive, which might mean doing that whole doing nothing or mm -hmm. doing less mm -hmm. or slowing. So it's not now, or it might be look over there, or it might be, you know, in uh, 20 years, uh, stand around in public holding an arrow pointing at stuff and people with <laughs> all the things like this, so all the question marks. So disrupt, being a disruptor is not about smashing. Mm -hmm. That might, like including blowing stuff up, and it might be blowing stuff up. But it might be, so one of the things in this book of little things, one of the things, so the disruption, one of the disruption of the house, give, you know, tip a bastard. So one of the things in this list of things I want people to, okay, even if you can't really afford it, there's a bastard. Not racist taxi driver, take the number and pass on to the line, but you know, tip a bastard. Because I've done that, even if you can't really afford it, give them a tip. So because they're like, uh, 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 but I'm just too tight shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you're not, but you're also not like doing it, um, you know, out of fit, you know, it's just like, yeah, I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does that, so it's, it, 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 it's creating a difference, it may be the gap or the whatever, so disruption is good, it's not cultural feminism, Michael Gove, Steve Bannon, mm -hmm. Smart, or that artist, latching onto a term and hey this is trendy isn't it let's smash it up it's i think there's something about like slowness there too which is like if you don't because if we're always working on assumptions that have probably been fed to us by our environment those assumptions is like this equals that so it becomes incredibly reductive but easy to read and it's not without the time and attention and like slowness to kind of go to understand, like, of, of to disregard those kind of like signifiers that are just being bred into us and see it as like a bit more nuanced, or that like disruption happens in like very, very, very different ways. Yeah. One, so Marty said, you know, there's two lots of folk, people who are knackered, people who aren't knackered. Yet. That word yeah. disability, all the words around it, um, so self talk, but kind of involved in disability arts mm -hmm. and things like that. I don't know what either of you think are uh, rap disability or those. Um, I find slowness or well, no, speed is very able, it's very able bodied. Mm -hmm. Fast and furious, go on, let's. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in terms of excluding, one of the things is doing it fast if for any reason you've got less resources. And that's not just disability, it could be all kinds of stuff. I think speed is for the able-bodied or the mm. Yorksbridge chap or the, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I love it. I, I do think I'm, I'm frightened to go slow sometimes. Oh, yeah. But I think partly, not even because I'm being told like, be faster, be more productive, which obviously we are, but it's like a part of me is a bit, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's like a, Almost like a trauma from being the knackered of the two options. Like if I'm the knackered one, I don't want to be that. It's horrible to be tired. So then when I go slow, I feel like I'm acting as though I'm tired. So I don't want to do it, even though it's like so necessary and so like against 
Like, why would I go faster if I'm knackered? You know, it's what a strange conundrum. Mm. Well, I can't let myself. Working with slow learn to and one thing is well, and it's also not about necessarily going slow, but it is at least always considering the pace of the slowest person in the group or whatever. Yeah. So it's not that. So I think it's two things. One is not everything has to be done slow or quiet or whatever, but at least being aware of that as something that might be needed for some yeah. folks, and then then there's just the other weird thing. If we're talking about arts world, not art, but arts world, which is that kind of, well, okay, so arts world, it's not, oh crap, there's a, I'm a paramedic, there's a person that having a heart attack, I have to get there and get, you know, and save their life. I'm sorry, but within arts world, how much actual crisis management <laughs> is needed, yeah. how much swerve, how, oh my God, we need to do this now. Yeah. Um, you, your money is given to you way in advance. Yeah. You kind of know what's happening in a year, in six months or three months or mostly. Or you know, okay, we need X bombs on seats for shows or we've got a gallery or we need so many people yeah. in rooms labelled offices and <laughs> on offices doing something. Or what, you, know, you, you kind of have a, mostly it's fairly sedate or steady or... Not, <laughs> not mm. fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So like, why are uh, a lot? Of, oh my God, we've got to do the math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half an hour, come on, quick, give us. A <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'm already thinking about having to turn this off because it's like we're gonna have to subtitle it, and it's like. I wasn't aware of no. stuff yet. <laughs> But no, that's it. It's like there's always that kind of niggle in the back of my accelerating brain yeah. that like it's the kind of idea of like the labour that isn't yet happening. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, it's like what's expected. Yeah, and is it, and like this this the, that's like a cue to kind of say that horrible lame thing of just like we'll just live in the moment. But like if we had a better way of like maybe saying that, that also took into the account that like maybe poor people and maybe like disabled people and marginalised people can't really live in that moment because I don't know, like it's pretty hostile. But then also there is like a di like maybe like so this is like an antidote to like approaching that differently that can allow maybe like that moment to be like spent a bit more time with. I don't know, maybe I'm sounding a little bit When I was at the old um Newbridge site, so one of the things that did come up, so someone who was uh, like recent arts graduates, art's oh, so expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, no, art's cheap. Mm -hmm. Life mm -hmm. is expensive. Life is expensive. But the art bit, I mean, I think, yes, life is expensive. The roof over your head or, or whatever, or feeling safe or babysit, that stuff. Art uh, could be stuff that you pick up outside. <laughs> Or a pen and paper, and maybe you haven't actually bought the pen. Or you know, it's so yeah. It's a hostile environment out there, but I think all around the world, people with nothing are still doing yeah. things. Yep. There's a person who well, was homeless and got locked in a psychiatric, and I was like, "Well, oh, okay, so this is my studio. This is <laughs> this is my material. So yeah. you can do it with." Nothing, but it, yeah, it's a... Mm. You've taught me a lot about, about art and why to make it and not... I suppose, like, to make it because I want to or I feel it needs making rather than someone's asked you to make this by the deadline, do it. You know, mm -hmm. like, if, yeah. It's like, just the conversation has taught me that. But it's so real time. That really like changed what matters to me, I think. And like, like the, the success thing of like, mm -hmm. what on earth does some, you know, I've written this poem, uh, I happen to have read it on the BBC, which hasn't, by the way, happened, but if it had, I'd be told that that was incredibly successful. Yep. As opposed to reading it in that room back there yep. to a few people who 
got it rather than hundreds of people who didn't really care. I <laughs> just clicked off and it's like, why? You were scrolling yeah, the scrolling. time. <laughs> <laughs> like, why have I learned though that, that like, oh, that's really cool that you did that or you got into this thing or, or you were successful here. And that's the speed thing. You've done that by that age, that's an incredible pace, well done. grateful to know that it doesn't have to be one of those jobs where I don't necessarily like it right now so I'll have to leave mm. and do something else. You can't leave art is the thing. You can't be like, oh I'm no longer an artist. No, no one, a writer is a writer if they write, not if they're paid. They are paid to write, you know. Whereas you kind of have to work in a bar to be a bartender. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's cool. In conclusion, art's well cool in it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Peter Lathan, who I just recently died, but under a hold. And okay, so it's about theatre, but you did say theatre, not theatres. Mm. I, I think they will make that's a mistake. So again, art, any art. So if it's visual, it's not the gallery. So it's the stuff that yeah. is made or done or shared or whatever. So yeah. I think there's a difference between the the thing, the stuff, or the, the triumph or the whatever, and the, the industry, the the stuff yeah. around it. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you might need or is just an essay or whatever, but yeah. getting into the the stuff around it rather than the yeah. the thing. <laughs> It was as he did say, theatre, not the theatres, not the the building itself. That doesn't matter. It's yeah. the, the stories. Mm. You're going to an art gallery and look at the plinth that the sculpture is on. <laughs> well, well, unfortunately, well, I mean, one thing is a lot of people they go to the art gallery and they read the statement outside the room before they look at the art, yeah. and then maybe they feel, uh, or what, or am I being stupid or something, yeah. rather than. Yeah. Looking at the art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I want to stop it there. Yeah, I do. But we can keep chatting. Yeah. And, and, and